Hello, my name is Darren Coppin, and tonight I'm going to give a quick demonstration on how to use the SpecFlow Assist helper methods that I created. Um, if you'd like to download these, you can just go to GitHub, uh, do a search for SpecFlow Assist, or search for my name, Darren Coppin, and you'll be taken here. Um, I have a downloads that lets you just download the library, and I have a wiki that has documentation on how to use each of the helpers. Um, but tonight, um, I'd like to actually give a, a quick code demonstration. Um, so here's the example I have. Um, I have a feature called Sign Up Controller, and supposedly this would be specs on a controller that allows people to sign up for something. I don't know. Um, and I, I'm actually going to start with the second, the second step here. Um, and the following accounts exist. You can see I have a table that has a list of accounts that should exist in the system. Now in my step, step uh, definition, let's see, I'm going to go to my account repository. Here's where I'd actually have to, to read this table. Usually I have to read it manually, you know, using table rows dot uh, select, you know, and basically pull all of the values from the table manually into the correct properties. Um, after I wrote a few of these, I, f I found it kind of tedious, so uh, I made an extension method called create set. And here you can actually pass it or give it a type, it's just a generic method. And what my, my, uh, method will do is create a set of accounts uh, based on the data you have in this table. So in this case there's an account object that has first name, last name, email which match these. So when I run this spec and actually I'm going to cut this out right now just so we can see this part of it. Now it might be a little hard to see, but accounts has three um, three accounts, and they each have the properties. So you can see that's pretty easy. So I can um, quickly create an account uh, repository fake. I like mock, so that's what I'm using here. Turns accounts. Account repository is just a simple little interface I drew up that just returns innumerable of accounts. So the create set basically just lets you create a innumerable set of objects based on what you have here. So let me show you the next method. I also found after using Specful for a while that I'd sometimes want to create one object based on table data like this. So my step is I entered the following values into the signup form. So I have a signup form. Actually, I actually have a signup input model, I believe. That has first name, last name, email. You can see first name, last name, email. Since it's one object, I actually let the properties come down this way and the values down in this column. Uh, the column names have to be field and value right now. So let me go ahead and run this. Uh, actually, let me define it. So I'll go to my sign up input model steps. So I'll say sign up input model equals table.create instance sign up input model. So let's put a debugger on that and quickly run it and see what happens. Let that run. You see I now have a sign up input model and the properties were set according to the values that were in this table. So um, I found this helps, this saves me a lot of time so I can quickly just draw up what, what I want to be in my objects or in my sets and I can just get them immediately. 
Um, it also works with integers, decimals, booleans, um, some things like that. So it's not just restricted to strings. Uh, so technically, if I wanted to, say, um, put a salary and um, um, height in inches for, say, 40, I don't know. And I want to put um, is cool true. I'm going to go ahead and make these properties in that model. Let's see, decimal salary. Not string it. Height in inches is cool. Actually, put the debugger line in there. So you can see it loaded the salary, it loaded the height in inches, and it set is cool to true. And the same, it works the same for the the set too. Okay. Now there are two more extension methods that I wrote to help me out. Um, again, I was using SpecFlow. I noticed that the best way to organize my step definitions was to create a step class for each, you know, thing in the system. So in, the, in this case, I have an account repository step, I have a sign up model step, sign up controller step, and so on and so on. Well, I need I need to get these objects that I'm created back and forth between these files. So I created an extension method off of scenario context. I can say scenario context current dot set. It's actually an extension method, so I can say I account repository. So you see scenario context current set I account repository. I'll do the same thing on this. Scenario context current set sign up input model sign up input model and I go here where I'm probably gonna I would want to create my controller sign up controller which has a dependency on an account repository so here I'm just gonna pull it out of scenario context. Uh, and I'm going to get my sign up input model. Submit sign up input model. Put the debugger on this. You see, it actually took the mock that I created for account repository and the signup that I created, and it just stored them in scenario context, and it just gives me a, a type safe way to get the data out. So that's pretty much all SpecFlow Sys does right now, and I think in the near future I'll be um, adding this, or at least submitting this as a uh, pull request to the main SpecFlow library. Uh, thank you. Bye-bye.